Hello. Hello. Welcome. So, welcome. <laughs> We're super excited to be a part of the second Sierra Nevada Yarn Crawl. And we are the dyer and the designer behind one of the patterns that is going to be available through Knits and Knots, as well as some of the yarn. Mm -hmm. um, Emily, would you care to tell us about yourself and about the beautiful pattern you designed? I would. So I'm Emily O'Brien. Uh, I am a knitwear designer, uh, podcast host, uh, general knitting enthusiast. Uh, I teach some classes and stuff. I would have been teaching classes if we were doing anything in person for the art crawl. Uh, but alas, here we are in the virtual world. Uh, so I have uh, lots of patterns that are going to be in a trunk show at a virtual trunk show at Knits and Knots. So watch out on the Knits and Knots Instagram for live videos, uh, fun shawls. I mostly design accessories. Uh, and I'm really excited about the pair of patterns that we have for the yarn crawl, especially. Mm -hmm. So let's see some of the patterns. Talk about yourself first. Oh, okay. Hi, internet. I'm Lauren. I am the dyer behind Valkyrie Fibers. I've been dying for about four years and I live uh, in South Lake Tahoe, which is where Knits and Knots is. Hopefully uh, the world will get healthy again and you all can come visit. It is a wonderful local yarn shop. Um, that's me. I've been knitting for about 20 years now and finally figured out a way to do it for a living. <laughs> Yay! You beat me. I've been knitting for like 18 years now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and then together we run the Fiber Coven, mm -hmm. which That's is our, our Patreon. Mm -hmm, which is our Patreon platform. It's like lightly witchy themed, but nothing too, nothing too scary. Don't worry, no devil worship. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just a witchy themed knitting community where we talk about the yarn and patterns and projects we're working on. And on our Patreon, we have blog posts about dyeing and designing and other things in our lives, mm -hmm. as well as we do videos like this every week. Yep. Yay! We talk about uh, our collaborations and what we're working on business-wise because we're trying to be more transparent about how the dyeing and di designing industry works. Uh, and that's what a lot of our blog posts are going to be about, too. So, I mean, you have blog post series all about your tools that you use for dyeing. Uh, I have one all about sketching. I have one all about how yarn support works. Um, yeah, so there's lots of good information on there. We also occasionally will do free blog posts, like we have an interview uh, with Serendipitous Wool that is free on the Patreon right now that you can go check out. And we run Mystery Knit Alongs, and there is actually one running right now uh, during the yarn crawl called the Dark Romantic Mystery Knit Along. So uh watch out for that full pattern to come out in october and check us out to not miss out on future mystery knit alongs yeah we yeah have lots of fun mm -hmm. but let's see what we're working on for the yarn crawl it's very autumnal it is very autumnal do you want to do yarn first and then pattern okay so actually both of the patterns that uh the knit and crochet patterns that are going to be available through knits and knots are actually on the same base which is a bfl tweed it's 85% BFL and 15% NEP, which is the little flicky flecks that are in there. Fleckles, and I call them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the crochet pattern is a Tunisian crochet shawl and it's out of this same base. And Emily's patterns we'll see in a bit, some gorgeous accessories. But um, I have two colors that I will be providing. First off is this like uh, brown, brown gray tone. Um, that I'm calling Mirkwood, and then the one that Emily knit her samples out of, which is the Woodland Realm. A lot of my yarns are nerdy, mainly Lord of the Rings themes, so that's why those names, but very reminiscent of an autumnal forest, because that's honestly the best time to live in this forest up here in the Sierras is in the autumn, when all the aspens are turning and all the tourists are leaving. <laughs> Yeah, and we'll have some beautiful pictures of while you're talking about the yarn so we can see all the colors because it's kind of hard to show colors on Zoom. Zoom isn't the best. It really is. You can't really get, get the detail in it. But uh, in addition to the two autumnal colorways that I will be providing, there's lots of gorgeous colors from Archaic Fibers on the 
um, on the same base. So whichever pattern you choose, the knit or crochet or both, you should be able to find uh, a couple different colorways. Hopefully something will be to your liking from one of our two local dyers. And it's a nice. So exciting. Uh, and I am not local, but I did design this pattern. I would have been there in person to meet everyone and hang out. I know it's very sad. Lauren and I are really good friends, but we have never met in person. We have only met on the interwebs. So someday. Someday. Mm -hmm. But I have this mitt, which I'll take off of its blocker so I can try it on for you. And I will also put some pictures on here so you can see the details better. Um, but this is the autumnal equinox mitt pattern. Um, and you can Yay. see there's a little acorn uh, nice. cable that I love. They look so wonderful and fall in the tweed. Um, and there's just some simple one by one cables uh, framing the, the line of acorns. Uh, simple ribbing at the top. They're pretty long mitts, so they're perfect for fall. And it's fingering weight, so it's like not too warm, but just like it's a perfect little like can hold your little cup of tea or your little pumpkin spice latte with your mitts and be warm and cozy. Uh, so both of these samples will be at the shop uh, if you're going into the shop at all. Uh, but I will also have a full photo shoot so you can see how they look and different angles and stuff. The pictures you've taken already are very cute, Thank and so that. That's the other colorway that I will be dyeing. That one is Woodland Realm, and it's a very, like, it's a rich tonal orange with speckles and undertones. It's fall and, in the yarn. <laughs> it, it is. Um, and for Emily's patterns, I think we would both agree that something solid, semi-solid, or tonal would probably be best to show off the cables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got some cutie acorns. But really, that's all you're going to get from Archaic Fibers. He is truly the master of gorgeous tonals. And yeah, and the two, two babies from me. Yay! Yay. Mitts. Um, and there is a matching hat pattern, but we are recording this video a little bit earlier than the yarn crawl. So currently, the hat is just some ribbing. <laughs> but it hat. will have the same acorn and cable motif, so you can have a matching hat with your mitts and be extremely warm and cozy. It's gonna be so great. I know, um, I think it's gonna be so cute. I just love tweed. Like if you if you have known me at all as a designer before this, I love tweed, tweed is the best. Um, so I'm just really loving knitting on this tweed yarn. It's like 85, but I'm pretending like it's not. <laughs> Uh, as far as yarn requirements go, obviously you'll be able to get either one pair of mitts or a hat out of one skein, but do you think you'd be able to get both a pair of mitts and a hat out of one skein? I think so. I am pretty positive that if you knit the smaller size of mitts and the smallest hat size that you will be able to, uh, but because I am only here on the hat so far, I cannot confirm exactly how much the hat is going to take right now but I, we, that we will have that information by the you can go look at the patterns and see exactly what the yardage requirement is uh, if you're watching this the mitts uh, are about 45 grams of yarn so it's nice. it's pretty on track for the hat's going to be just like a beanie style hat so it's pretty on track to be able to do both out of the uh, one ball uh, or one skein of yarn, but I'm not 100% sure if you do the larger mitts and the largest hat size that it will work because I haven't done that math yet because the hat isn't done yet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but also too, as I like to say, yarn doesn't go bad, just get two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, but yes, it's very pretty. And then so is the pattern going to be a bundle of both the mitt and the hat? You're so generous. Well, it's going to be like a, on my Ravelry, it will be, if you're familiar with my kitties are cute pattern, it will be a bundle where the second one is extremely discounted. Got um, it. But I think the kits are going to be a bundle of both patterns included for the yarn mm -hmm. crawl. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yes. That's so exciting. I'm really I'm really looking forward to it. The yarn crawl was such a blast last year. It's uh, interesting to see how it's going to be digitally, but I'm just thrilled that everybody's still participating and 
all that good stuff. I'll turn my obnoxious lamp off because you don't need to see <laughs> the cable details anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm excited to see videos of the shop and mm -hmm. check out all the other shops offerings. I miss going to physical yarn festivals a lot. I'm really missing them. So I'm excited to do some virtual hangs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be fun. And it's good to have the variation because not everybody's, you know, up for doing a lot of traveling because our, our region's pretty spread out. So this way we can have anybody and everybody come visit our shops virtually. Our shops. I don't own the shop. I just like to go there. <laughs> But yeah, so we're looking forward to seeing everybody and seeing all the projects when you guys make them. All the Tweety, all the Tweety Fall goodness coming this September from Knits and Knots. Yeah. Yay. So is that about it from us? I think so. Happy yarn crawling. Yeah. Happy yeah. yarn crawling. It was, thank you so much for listening to us and uh, hope. Hopefully we will see all your projects on the internet. Yeah, and maybe we'll see you in some live videos and stuff. Uh-huh, and then hopefully next year for the next Yarn Crawl, we'll be able to see y'all in person. Yes. All right, well, thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you.